<laughs> All right, another episode of Products We <laughs> With. You. I'm your co-host Mario. This um, is Keegan. All right, and we have two products today that we want to go through, specifically around the beard or lower face region, southern hemisphere of the head, frontal lobe. Let's go with that. I don't actually. The frontal lobe is your brain. Brain. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, that's why you're here to capture that. Anyway, so first product. Keegan, why don't you walk us through this because that's your product. All right. What's it called? <clears throat> this is Shea Moisture Men's Tea Tree Oil and Shea Butter Wait, After Shea Elixir. You said Shea Moisture Men. Shea Moisture Men. Shea Moisture Men. Shea Moisture Men. That's I right, I thought Mario. we used to have to steal our products from our girlfriends. And moms. And exactly. And sisters. So now they have something for us. They have something for us guys our, and us with our Y chromosomes. Anyway, Shea Moisture Men, like Mario said, Shea Moisture is pretty a well-known brand among women. Um, I used to steal my mom's like products all the time. Their shampoo, her shampoo, her conditioner, her moisturizer, everything. So like when I needed something and I was out of my stuff, I used to use her Shea Moisture. But Shea Moisture Men is their men's line and they have a lot of products for us guys. This one is an aftershave elixir. Now, I don't really have a beard. I'm not like Mario, I can't grow a beard. I just got this, this little peach fuzz, kind of like, I don't know, how would you like categorize this mustache? Hello darkness, my old friend. Don't be uh, stupid. Okay. Um, I don't the, know that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like a poet, like a street poet's mustache. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. And then I have like a little goatee area, but... Um, <laughs> what are you about to say? What are you about to say? <laughs> what are you about to say? <laughs> let's, nah. let's cut to commercial real quick. Just love, just anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, aftershave elixir. I use this pretty much anytime um, I go to a barber. And the one good thing about this product, and I don't even know if Shane Moisture Men actually know about this. But this product is really good for if you have razor bumps or if you are trying to avoid getting razor bumps. So you go to a barber, they take the, the blade, single blade, or they take the, um, you know, like the T-line or whatever, and start like working around like your hairline. Sometimes, depending on the barber, if they don't clean the blade well enough, or um, maybe like they're using an old blade, which your barber should not do, um, they should always replace the blade or the blade is a little bit dull or whatever the case may be. If they're shaping you up and then all of a sudden you get razor bumps because of the irritation, this product is really good for getting rid of those. I had like a crazy amount of razor bumps in the back of my neck probably um, a couple months ago because uh, I went to a different barber. I was traveling. I needed a shape up. Used somebody I didn't, wasn't familiar with. Never do that. Never do that again. Get your hair cut only by the people that you trust. Um, Went over to that person, they screwed up, got a whole bunch of razor bumps. I started treating those razor bumps with this. Started seeing results literally in about two to three days. It got the irritation down, really smooth and soothed uh, my skin. All that was like perfect. Like I actually really recommend this product for that reason. And also it's a really good toner. So let's say um, you're washing your face and you just wanna kinda like pat it dry, like pat it around here. It'll tighten up your skin a little bit. So it's a really solid product. I would highly recommend it. Um, natural ingredients, it's always good. You don't wanna throw too many chemicals on your face, but highly recommend this product. Okay, second product. So if you don't have a beard, suffer from razor bumps, definitely use that. You may have a beard. So I also use this Bevel Hair product. It's the uh, Beard Balm. I actually bought this to replace the previous one that I've done. Uh, I used to use, you can see the video that I used for my beard. I used like a Brooklyn Botany and an Honest Amish uh, product on my beard. One was a balm and the other one was a wax, which is definitely a lot tougher, so a harder material, keeps the strands down. But for me, I really like balms that are ultra moisturizing, very hydrating as well. And I was a little skeptical about this product when I opened up the box and you can see like it's very, it's a very nice package. Bevel is definitely known for using really good packaging, pleasing. aesthetically pleasing products. Exactly. So when I opened it, I just saw this. <laughs> I was like, "You got all this right here." It's like you opened up a, yeah. a, a potato chip bag. Yeah, and it got like four chips in there. 
right? So like I looked at it and I was like, man, that's really not that much. But then if you look in the corners, you know, it's caked up there. So it is a, it is a pretty good amount of product volume. here. Good volume in there. Uh, the only thing I would say is that my Brooklyn Botany one was, was about three ounces. This one is 1.7, but I've had this for about two months now and I'm still going with it. So I am pleased with it. Very hydrating. It's a good smelling product as well. Uh, it doesn't really take that much to rub in and like move through the beard as well. I have like a medium sized beard, so you don't really need that much. Probably like a dime amount, maybe not even that much. But um, I think I'm gonna start going out with this one as well. I'm gonna probably buy my Brooklyn Botany one, but this is also one just I've used when I'm fresh out the shower, about to go to work, really easy to apply. So definitely so you, recommend the bevel, the bevel bomb. So the only, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the only beef with that one is you just wish there was more. I wish there was more of it. That's a uh, first world problem, yeah. but you get yeah. that bevel. There you go. Give us more. Give us we, more. We want more. You know, how you, like you go into like the, the the local beauty salons, and you can also see products that say like, oh, thirty percent more now. You know, right. let me get that version. You, you know, thirty percent more. Than yeah, that. hit me off with that, or send me a free that. one. I don't know. Thanks. Well, send them a free one. Three, I'm three, four of them. Three. I want five. Three actually. free. Five. Five. Yes. Yeah. Bigger ones too. Like yeah. A lot of ball. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. Say it's that. not gonna do it. Probably not. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much my review for this here. So if you're looking, if you're in the market for another type of beard moisturizer, I definitely recommend trying the uh, bevel the bevel balm here. Cool. Yeah, I like it, man. Yeah, it smells good too. So, like any other video we have, if you have any questions or comments, questions or comments, put them below. Uh, let us know your thoughts. Uh, if you want more content from us, you can definitely go. Oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more content, go to our website hairclub.com. Subscribe to our newsletter. Head over to our Instagram page, uh, Instagram.com/hair.club, and keep it posted. We'll keep have it locked, more. Yeah. Keep it locked. All that, shit, and we'll have more products for you to, to, nice. to recommend for you guys as well. So, once again, my name is Mario. I'm Keegan. Peace out.